Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Master for the PC. This is Big Los, and we're just about to head down to the second floor. We really don't have a lot of mana to make any healing spells or cast Magic Torch, so let's just head on down. And right here, here is a stone slab, and if you press it, here is a secret door, and then here's some clothing here. So we'll put the helmet on Chewie, and who doesn't have any boots? Yeah, Gozer is almost completely naked. Leather pants, I think we'll switch these gi pants out. Give those to Gozer. Now you're wearing pants. Leather jerkin. I think that actually provides an armor bonus, so we'll give Gozer the elven doublet or whatever it is, and then the robe can actually go around the neck. It can go in two places. And we'll put the arrow there. And I guess you can hold on to that water skin. And we'll put the cheese there. Oh yeah, this magic box. Let's give that to Wolfram. She'll be able to use it. Notice how I put long-range weapons into everyone's inventory right now. So let's create this healing potion. Can we do any more right now? Do we have enough mana? Probably not. No. What about you? Yes, you can. Couldn't do it, but we did gain a priest level. And we're just going to have to wait. What about everybody else? Oh yeah, let's try to make another one. You have a... You have a, a bottle? No. Can you make one? No. Alright, I guess we'll just have to wait for our mana to build back up, so let's go up here. Now there is a force field here, so let's get the timing just right, and we'll go all the way to the end, and we'll grab this thing, and this is the compass that I was waiting for. So now we know which way is north, if we ever lose our bearings in here. So there's a passageway here to our left, but let's go on straight. And you'll notice that there are several closed portcullises with golden keyholes. Uh oh, it's getting dark again. So it looks like we're going to have to look for some keys on this level before we can advance any further. Do we have any mana in which to cast Magic Torch? If not, then I'll just... Oh, break down and use a regular torch. It's okay. Choose your door, choose your fate. Looks like we got multiple doors. Chambers of the Guardian. The Vault. Getting dark again. Alright, that helped a little bit. Alright, better. The Matrix with Neo and Morpheus. What about over here? Time is of the essence. Oops. And we have a treasure chest. I guess we'll have you open it up. We get a scroll. Yah will create a stamina potion. Yeah, we know that. Some doors can be opened with a Zo spell going to be very important and we have some gold coins so let's take them and then we'll fill up this treasure chest with all these screamer slices that we have very good all right What are these other doors? Room of the Gem. Creature Cavern. So I'm guessing there's a lot of monsters in there. Well, I suppose we should just start with this one. Whoops. So let's... Let's get a spell ready. A healing spell. Still don't have enough mana. Alright, we'll just open it up and... Yeah, I might have to use a torch. Magic Torch doesn't seem to last that long. What's this over there? 
a drumstick. All right, you hold on to that. Who knows how long it's been sitting there. And looks like... Whoa! Whoa, back up, back up. Let's get the hell out of here. Got some troll-looking mofos. Let's get them ready to throw, and then we'll close the door on them as soon as they step through. That'll help us kill them. Oh, there they are. Throw it. Alright, close the door. Ah! Come on back. Oh. They didn't want any of this, huh? Oh! And they did a lot of damage to Wolfram. Try to pick these things up. Hey, where are you guys going? Notice that these guys drop a club every time you kill them. The good thing about these clubs is that they can be thrown. Now, I don't know if they do any more damage than, oh, let's say a ninja star or a dagger. Let's try to make some of these healing potions and drink them up because Wolfram did take a lot of damage there. Can you? Yeah. Make it. There we go. Oh, wait, no. Not you. You. Alright, that should be decent, I guess. Now where do these guys go? Oh, they're just hanging around. Alright, got one. Got another one. Well, I'm guessing by the time we get going, we'll probably be all healed up. So let's grab all of these things that we threw. We'll put them into our pouch. I'm going to make my two rear party members, the guys who throw stuff. So they're going to have more ninja levels. Oh, you are overloaded, sir. Because you don't have a lot of strength. Okay, you hold on to two chests. And you can use a ninja star, and then you'll pull out your regular weapon. You'll have two clubs, so you can throw all those things. Now the club will only fit in the top left portion of the pouch, which has a scabbard symbol on it. It won't fit in the other three. Alright, I think we can move onward. So we have a portcullis up here. And lots of things on the wall. Looks like when you press it, it causes a force field inside the cell for a brief period. There we go. Nope. Looks like we got another monster up here. Looks like a debris pile. And it is a monster because it moves, so let's throw everything we got at it. And we can actually pick these things up off the ground and throw them. Although I think it's only your first party member that does it. And it keeps moving back, so we can advance and then pick these things up and throw them. Every time you throw something, it uses up some stamina. I don't know if I'm really doing any damage to this thing. Could be that it has like a shield on or something right now because when it gets close to you and it attacks, like all these tentacles come out, and I think that's its vulnerable spot. But when it's down, it has all this debris that it's collected on top of itself. So I don't know if that 
gives it extra protection, but it probably does, because when you attack these things, you don't really do that much damage like you do on other enemies. I mean, it would help if we're doing like one point of damage at least. Uh oh, now it's coming this way. See, we did like four points of damage, see? And these things, they do poison you, so you want to kind of step back and then swing. So we'll get ready and then we'll... Actually, we, hit... we now have a parry command and it looks like Chewie just gained another fire level. I think the parry allows you to block a blow and... Well, that's good news. We didn't get poisoned. And it drops a boulder, and we also get a rock, so we'll save the rock. We're probably going to need that. And let's go up here, and we'll grab all the stuff that we threw at it. Yeah, we do have a lot of stuff that we threw. We want to get them ready for our front characters. In fact, you know, I think I probably should swap out my two rear characters with my two front ones just to get them some experience swinging a sword. I might do that. So there is a treasure chest, and every time that you press a button, it teleports to another cell. So we're going to do this until... We don't see it in any of these cells anymore. Kind of like a combination. There it is. One more time. And I think I went the wrong way. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, there's the treasure chest. So let's try to make this a little more light. Very good. Now that we've got some more mana, maybe we can start using higher level spells. Maybe they'll last longer. Yeah, you need more practice with that. Now we're going to have to wait. Alright, so let's check out this chest. So, when we put it in hand, it has a mirror. So, let's grab the mirror. It's the Mirror of Dawn. And I guess we can put all this food that we have into the treasure chest. That'll free up our inventory. Very good. Now, let's do what I said and swap our rear characters with our front ones. Now, over here on this wall is something that looks like an eye. And if you use the mirror on it, it opens up a secret door with mummies. So, let's back up. Put the mirror away. And as soon as they make an appearance, we'll throw our ninja stars. Oh, 11 damage. Very good. Whoa, that was a lot. Gozer. Good job. 18. Alright, we'll switch him back now. And I think the ninja stars got stuck in them, so... You won't see them on the ground. Now, we could take the boulder, but it is pretty heavy. So, we'll just leave it. Over here, we got another drumstick and a gold key, which will open up one of those portcullises. So let's grab this food. Grab the key. Who's going to hold on to it? I guess you. And then we'll see if we can cast a spell. All right. Now, 
let's see if we can cast another type of spell. Oh, I don't have enough mana for that one. Yeah, I'm trying to look to see how to cast a poison cure spell. So we're going to need Zoven. And we don't have enough mana for it, so I guess we might as well just make healing potions. Try it. Nope, need more practice. Alright, some other time then. And we have a jerkin. And you're not wearing anything, so you put it on. So that would leave Wolfram the only one who's not really wearing anything. So I guess we've completed this part. Let's go on to the next one. Which would be... If I'm not mistaken, it's called the Vault. Can anybody cast Magic Torch? Alright, that's better. Alright, can you do the poison cure? No. And we have a slot here. You must pay for your entrance. Seriously? You mean we just got some money and we're gonna have to spend it already? What, it takes more than one coin to open that door? Some of the one of those uh, ritzy arcades that takes two quarters. Whoa, we got mummies. Let's try to draw them back, and then we'll start throwing stuff at them. All right, come this way, mummies. There they are. Ah. Oh. can't grab it we're gonna have to go up and get it real fast and go there you are Let's throw that now we can close the door on him and there's another monster behind him oh you got smart huh killed one aha and we got some more monsters. And he wisely ran away. So let's pick up all these things that we threw. And I think we do have some more clubs. We got one for the scabbard and one for the hand. And he just gained another wizard level, Mr. Gozer. Alright, where is he? Where's that guy? Where'd he go? He's around here somewhere. Oh, right there. Ah, uh, missed. Got him. Alright, so now we have another club. Let's put these away. And I guess we'll have one to throw with you. And with you. And then you guys will pull out your swords. Cast your influence, cast your might. So you remember that we got a spell to open the door, which was Zo. Well, we already have one prepared, so let's use it. So let's click there to cast. And now it's open, but now we have a pit in front of us. So now we gotta throw something through the door to land on the pressure plate to close the pit. And now we can open and close the door at will. And let's grab this rock. Even when we grab the rock that we threw, the door, or the pit won't open, I should say. So that's permanent. And there's an alcove here that has a coin. When you remove the coin, the door closes. But 
Just like Indiana Jones, we can use something similarly weighted to open the door. Now we have the coin instead of a rock. And we have some loaf of bread. Let's hold on to that. We're probably going to need that pretty soon to feed everybody. Off camera, when I was trying to cast some spells, everybody got hungry, so I fed them. And we have another coin slot. It's time to accept a silver coin. Opening up, and we got some troll-looking mofos, so... Up. Oh. Looks like it only takes two throws. Let's pick these things back up. And we got one more club. Who's going to hold on to it? Oh, you're overloaded. Because you're carrying two chests, no doubt. Well, that sucks. Alright, so what do we have here? Another open area with another troll, and there's an arrow in front. Let's have the throw ready. Alright, got him. Yep, only takes two throws per troll. Oh, throw it at him. And Chewie got another ninja level. Yep, two throws is all it takes. Oh wait, you already got it. And you're overloaded because you're holding it. There we go. Not overloaded anymore. See, it's bad to be overloaded because then you move a lot slower. And we're going to need our speed in this particular part of the dungeon. So we got some cheese and we got some extra clubs. So I guess we'll put them in our inventory. And it's getting dark again. We got another troll. Oh, and we have two of those rock monsters. So those things are pretty tough. So let's back up. In fact, it looks like something just came up, so I'm going to have to save right now and quit, and then we'll finish this in the next episode while I go take care of that thing. So let's close the door here. We don't want those things coming through while I'm trying to save the game. I don't want to reload it and have them right in my face. All right. So, will we be able to defeat those monsters and maybe get another gold key and some more treasure and maybe find our way out of this part of the dungeon? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And, Tango Umbuendia.